They had a world come a soldier that was weird. who carries a mighty sword. Think at least it happened now and it didn't just lose the entire thing. Yeah, that was really bad. So we oh. we just had a, a genuine intro. That's the most genuine <laughs> intro we've ever had. And the the, the, the um audio file just got corrupted and popped and then we just lost all of that. But thank God it happened now and not like the end of the episode. That would have <laughs> oh, really... I liked that conversation. I know. Should we just include it talking. and just put a disclaimer? We'll, we'll put it in the unwind. We'll, 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 put, yeah, it in, we'll, yeah. we'll put it on the Patreon. Okay. We'll talk about mental health. Speaking of Patreon, we just went oh, on yeah. Patreon and we said, does anybody actually want these yellow desks? And three people swooped them in 10 minutes. <laughs> so I dro- we, we dropped them off last night. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I, didn't, then, I didn't think it'd be that quick. Uh, somebody DM me this morning and I guess one is still, did you drop it off in a parking garage? Yeah, she had me put it behind her car. Yeah, so there's one in a parking garage and I guess another person that lives there was like, this is so sad. Like, why is your desk in a parking garage? <laughs> they had no idea that we sold it to somebody there. <laughs> That's <laughs> really funny. And then we're, uh, we're also giving away other items from the set like the chaos coordinator behind you um, we're making them we're, do we're, trivia on patreon we're like if you can guess everybody's middle name correctly with spelling we'll chaos get, we'll coordinator get, there was a, a little plaque behind um your behind seat you, from, the, from last the last oh season. i thought you yeah. call this thing a chaos coordinator yeah. and i was like i'm learning <laughs> something today <laughs> there was a little plaque did um, um did anybody catch it like first like get all middle names first um out of 300 comments, only two people. No way. Got everyone thought you were Rob Matt Robert. What? They, that's why I asked you because they had me questioning it. I said it's Ryan, it's Ryan, it's Ryan, and then everybody said. Oh, Robert. that's why y'all texted me. Your and then I started. Yeah, we started second we started guessing second ourselves, guessing. and I was like, Wait, is it Robert? And we are wrong. This is whole there time? a clip of you guys maybe going Matthew Robert? I bet no. you guys know. I think one person said it and the rest rolled with it because oh. everybody thought mine was Marie. 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 Mariah Marie. Marie. Mariah Marie. <laughs> Yours is Lauren Nicole. Not even close. <laughs> Lauren. Lauren. What is it again? Francis. Oh my God, I forget Everybody that every thought time. my middle name was Elton. Heath Elton. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of Eltons. There was yeah. another one that I saw that I was like, <laughs> where are they getting this from? Everybody Funny. knew Zane. Everybody yeah, everybody Zane. knows yeah. mine. Wh- 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 why do they know mine? Because we say it all the time. We yeah. make fun of them on the podcast all the time. Mm-hmm. Heath, what is yours again? Garrett. It's Garrett. Two R's, two T's. Oh, I was T's. guessing E's yeah. or some reason. Okay, cool. So Zane Amanajazi, Heath, Garrett, Hussar, Matt Ryan King, and Mariah Marie. Mar- Mariah Marie Francis <laughs> Amados. But we, yeah, we are giving away little stuff from the past set. Yeah, that was little, cute. I really love that. Um, um, so next we're going to get rid of these walls. If yeah. You yeah, lots of peace. <laughs> <laughs> like like when Katie Heron takes a pieces of the crown. Yeah. <laughs> How do they even start taking these walls? Oh, because there's there, it's all it's all um sections. So uh, they just yeah. like pop it off. You're gonna it, give it away? You could sell, I don't know. You could sell those. G- give it away to one of you. Sell them to a church. <laughs> hey, we'll do it like a bedroom makeover. It looks just like the set. Honestly, I feel like my landlord might want me to keep them in here because it looks really nice. He loves yeah. them. It could add value. I mean, to, this is the entertainment business. Yeah. <laughs> like if a, a young aspiring comedian was coming and you already had a full podcast set right. with a whole built out yeah. system That's over here. That's Hollywood, babe. Yeah, because yeah, how many of the houses did we y'all look at that yep. had studios. And we yeah. got excited. So it does make you get very excited because that's like one less thing you have to worry about. But do, do you then have, like, do they then pay you for the addition that you added or it's just- you better give me a year free <laughs> <laughs> if I'm leaving all this. Oh yeah, right. Because this was a lot of well, money. I bought those blinds for my be- my bedroom at the old house uh-huh. and I left them, I left them there because they were custom built. And window. I drove by and I'm like, oh, that person, I should get like, especially <laughs> if you don't let blinds, them know. And I just- Oh yeah, mm. I, I I remember telling Matt like three times. I was like, Matt, you might not want to get those blinds. He's like, I need the blinds. <laughs> but dude, I could not. Sl- I had paper blinds for the longest time. In I know, room. but baby, me too. You just gotta stick through it. <laughs> yeah, but your light didn't hit like the light hit in my room. No, 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 no. You had you had really good light. But I love good also, lighting. Also, anybody, anytime anybody walked up to your house, could look right into my bedroom. <laughs> yes. I was butt naked. <laughs> I literally for a while I would crawl on the ground naked. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that yeah, was, they yeah. had a straight shot from the street to your job. I remember one like, time fans came by and I was just at my computer and they were like, Matt, Matt, and I'm like, hi. And then they so sat bad. there watching me work. <laughs> you had a cool room though. Cause like you could oversee like the whole street and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. The whole like, city. I loved it. Yeah. 
you had the only room with a view, right? No, Todd, Todd had a great Todd had view. A oh yeah, Todd, Todd was had an up amazing top. view. Every time, like, because I end up with the um the the master room, mm -hmm. and I always get the worst lighting. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's you a, have you have better lighting in your room than my room. No, no, today now yeah. I do, but yeah. like the the last two houses, it was just so dark and yeah. depressing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't yeah. have a single light in our bedroom. Did you know that? What it doesn't work. No, we have no. There's there no is no lights. Light. The only lights we have are lamps. Eighteen lamps. On our Wait, why didn't they think to put any bulbs? I, on the it's a. It's built well, in like the recessed lighting wasn't around back then. Like this is all. I bet added on. But part of that's a little nice. I hate big light though. Like I think it's like hard on the eyes. Okay, do you like uh like the warm? light like this or do you like the white light warm light oh really you like white light i, I always I think usually, even the light in our house sometimes i'm like get this. i usually like warm lighting but i'm the lately, yellow is kind of ugly too though yeah lately like the yellow lights kind of like it, it ages it the house. feels it old does. to me like the white like this strip i'm like give me all that make like I, I just feel more awake. Yeah. it feels like, sterile to me that feels like i'm in an operating room it but, does but i feel like i'm more awake but you know, but like sure, I, sure. I, I fucks with Scientology, like Scientology lighting. What? When you, when, you know when you walk out the Scientology <laughs> building and it's all, it's all lit Don't up. Play bad juju. No, no I know, I know, I know, but I'm, I'm kidding, saying I'm like it's it's very inviting. Welcome it's me. nice. It's, it's a, there's a reason it's, why it's they have white store. lights everywhere. It's an <laughs> Apple store. I, I I love that type of lighting. Yeah. It is better for filming. It is very good for filming. I was in uh, someone's apartment. It was Katie Austin's old apartment. It's over there in West Hollywood. It's a very new apartment. They had this like lighting that went all around the room. When they had it on, the lighting in every angle of the apartment was like perfect. Like if you were wow. filming, mm. everybody was like lit. It was oh, the wow. strangest lighting. That's I'd what ever we need. Seen. But like for filming, that's what's nice about it. Like set up like about. Oh, we got to do the intro. Yeah, oh, let's yeah, do yeah, the yeah. intro. Whoops! <laughs> it's all right. All right. <laughs> uh, and a three. And a two. And a three. Two. One. It's, it's coming, coming top, baby. Yeah. yeah. Ow. <laughs> 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 Why do people lick light bulbs? Nobody does that. Welcome back to Zane Heath and Unfiltered. <laughs> I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah Marie. And today <laughs> we are unwinding and unfiltered. We're relaxing today, baby. It's, it's we, a vibe. We put, we put our seats back. For the people listening, we put our seats back. We want to have a relaxing episode today. Do we look attractive like this? <laughs> your, I don't your know. Your pant bulge with the zipper <laughs> just sticking. Mar Mariah, just scoot over a little bit. <laughs> Just when was the last time you put your tongue on a D battery? Wait, a D battery? Oh, uh, what's a D battery? Oh, is that the big one? The, the, the square the, one? The, like the rectangle where it was like the two sides and you like- Oh, does it taste <laughs> weird? It's sh like shocked, it, you get like, like that tingle. No way. It, like it shocks you like a, like a bad shock or like, like a good like, shock? And it, it gives you like that. I've never I've done ne it. I've never, Wait. I didn't even know people did that. I, I knew not to go get it. Go get a D battery. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I want to do the smell. Oh, the smelling salts. I need that right now. Oh yeah, let's take a. I need like a. a I need something to like wake me up right now. Um, Give him the kick, Jordan. Jordan, remember when I handed you them? The medicine. And, and, <laughs> the, and then the in, smelling the, salts? In, in the coffee cabinet is the smelling salts. Can we talk about oh, what happened the other night? Well, we haven't talked. Happens? We haven't talked about it. The big, the what? big earthquake. Oh. Oh, well, that just happened like two days ago. We haven't talked about. Yeah, it. Yeah, we no, no, we haven't talked about it. We should definitely talk about it. No, it's just the earthquake. Mariah's been stressing very hard the last <laughs> few days because of it. There was a there was another earthquake in the middle of the night la last night too, right? Or was that just me? I didn't feel I didn't, it. I didn't even feel the first one. I'm so mad. Wait, you missed this, the recent one? Yeah. Oh, this my. was the worst earthquake I've ever experienced well, in my okay, really? okay, that we experienced, right? I guess. Okay, I, okay. Or I've experienced. Because I know, I, <laughs> imagine someone's like, that was the worst earthquake all that was. <laughs> yeah. Right, but ever, it was the most. Moving. That we felt, that we've ever felt. It was it was pretty terrifying. So was, really? Yeah, like I thought it felt like a plane crashed next to our house. Like that the, the movement of the house was pretty terrifying. So this was at like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. Zane was in his room. Yes, 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 2 a.m., Zane was in his room. Danielle's in his room or her room. We're on the second story in our house. I've never been like on a second story for yeah. an earthquake. I feel like you feel it more, right? It felt like I, first thing I thought was that Zane was uh, on the rails <laughs> of like our house, like moving it. Cause like you felt the, the bones of the house. Yeah. Like, and our house is like very new. It's very, you think it's so secure. Yeah. It, Felt like it was just on I don't and know the thing rubber about bands it, and the paper thing about clips. An earthquake, was, even though we live in California and we get earthquakes, 
every time an earthquake happens, nobody thinks earthquake yeah. immediately. Yeah. You think, yeah. At, like, you're like, is Zane on the balcony at 2 a.m.? Like, you <laughs> think? So many different things. I thought that I was having a panic attack because I thought my body was shake. Just my body was shaking. Yeah, I felt nauseous and like I know that I heard my windows rattling, mm -hmm. which was like a odd sound. And then I thought I was just blaming it on myself. I was like, well, I'm almost asleep. I think I'm having a panic attack because I'm thinking about if somebody's breaking in. You don't think earthquake. Yeah. Then I put my hand on the bed and felt the bed shaking. Still would not think. I woke up Heath and I was like, do you feel shaking? Is it me? Like, do I, I need to go get anything. water? I did not think earthquake until my phone lit up and it was Danielle and Zane. Uh, did y'all feel really? that? <laughs> we all met We all met in the hallway and we were like, yo. That, what's crazy is like the moment it happened, you want to think that you're like a reactive person yeah. to moments of, of uh, scary circumstances. <clears throat> you, you fight, you don't flight. Dude, I was like in shock. Like I didn't, as it was you happening, froze. you, the first thing is you're like, oh my gosh, I hope this doesn't keep going. You want it to end because earthquakes will last a few seconds. Yeah, but like, it's crazy that you're hoping, I hope this isn't it. Like yes. it, it's every single time right. it could just keep going and just cause destruction. Jesus, take the wheel. It's, and every time I realize, oh, I'm not prepared for an earthquake. Yeah. Every time it happens, I'm like, Oh wow, in this very moment at 2.30 in the morning, me, Matt, Danielle, I don't even think we would know what to do. We would have don't no you idea. Go, like, in the, you go under a table or you go, you go under, under a your door desk. or a door frame. <laughs> Who knows? If that house starts crumbling apart, I don't want to be on the second floor. They, like, they, well, where do they you say right? to go to like a door frame? Yeah, we would go to your door frame. So keep your door open. On the night. second floor <laughs> though? You don't, your window is like- Yeah, until not the bottom act. drops and then you- Yeah. I don't, you don't run down the stairs during an earthquake. I would. I would instinctively, I would just run to the middle of the street. Yeah, me too. That's like a right pretty safe spot. Right the the street, cause nothing's, I don't know. <laughs> the, the wires. I'm assuming that. <laughs> was, was this, it was more of like a shaky one though, like like vibrations? It was more like. They, they felt it differently than I felt it. Because it I think because they're on the second floor of the house. Cause Zane was like, it felt like my house was gonna collapse. I did not get that feeling. Hmm. Yeah, I got like some, I've, some earthquakes I think have been like very grindy. Like <clears throat> this one was just like, huh, huh. Cause uh -huh. the one we felt in the guest house, it felt like the floor below me was going like this and my head was still, but my body underneath Ooh. was like, like, a chicken. like you, you know those chairs yeah, yeah, that yeah. they would sell? Yeah, it's like, it felt like that, but. That one that we felt a couple years ago, that one felt like we were on a giant waterbed. Yeah. It was almost, it flowed. This one, it felt like I was in a really bad massage chair. You know, like the yeah. massage chairs that just vibrate? Yeah. That's what it was because for a second, when I was going through, what could this possibly be? I thought both our phones were vibrating at the same time. Oh, weird. It was just a vibration, but it went on. This one was wow. long. It was like 10 seconds yeah, long. Yeah, it was, was a like, it was a good amount of time. Yeah. And I, I thought the same thing. I thought somebody uh, uh, broke into our door yeah. and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, it's it, it, it was it, it, wild. The worst is like after it like goes away, then you're like, is another one about to happen? Because yeah. they like always a, say there's the like aftershock. A, aftershock or what you're experiencing is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a bigger one. Yeah. And luckily there wasn't, but we were just like. Oh, and we, we, so we're all in our room and Danielle, you know, Danielle was like obviously freaking out to her first like earthquake. She, the earth, first earthquake yeah. she's ever felt. And me and Matt were joking about, oh, it's just crazy that we're just sitting on. The San Andreas like Fall. Like the San Andreas Fall. And she's like, what is that? No idea. Oh, no, and me and Matt look at each other. We're like, <laughs> don't. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so Zane starts like playing the scene from the San, San Andreas movie. No. movie with the rock. And he's like flying over LA and the whole city is just like <laughs> collapsing into and itself. I, I showed her that I was like, this is going to be us at any moment. And she's like, <laughs> that was terrible. But it's so funny just showing um, like obviously, obviously CGI movie like that, yeah, that yeah. would never happen like that. Right? It hasn't happened yet, so we don't know. What was strange is that the epicenter of this one was like off the coast in Malibu. Malibu. Yeah. I thought yeah. the fault lines behind us. What it is, is that? What, what's. It was just another. It was just an earthquake. It was a 4.2. It happens in the ocean normally or it happens on land? Like, it could be anywhere because it's just wherever the plates are. Like that. San Andreas fault line is just like a big. Plate. Oh, you know what I thought, thought about too? Because you know, uh, uh, it, it, isn't tsunamis created by earthquakes? Yeah, in a way. Yeah. Right. Okay. So in my head was like, oh my, this earthquake just happened. And then I started thinking of 
oh my God, Hawaii, who's in Hawaii? Scott is in Hawaii. Oh my and, God. And Scott, te Scott texted us and he was like, talking about, oh man, I missed the earthquake. I was about to text him back going, oh no, you got to get a tsunami. No, you're just beginning. <laughs> just like, it's just a giant wave traveling towards him. <laughs> Your disaster hasn't even started yet. Imagine those Snapchats. We're all running in an earthquake. He's running away from a tsunami. Snapchat. He would be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, ShipStation. If you guys didn't know, Shipping costs are the number one cause of abandoned carts. Have you ever left a cart full of items in an online store because the shipping was too expensive? In a landscape where free and fast shipping is the norm, it can be hard for smaller e-commerce businesses to compete. Keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. When you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs, make returns easy, and keep your customers happy. And with all the time you save from automating your shipping tasks, you can keep your business growing all year long. Oh yeah, doesn't Mariah use ShipStation for her Depop? For yes, her she actually uh, sells all of her clothes on Depop and she uses uh, ShipStation to help with all the automating and shipping uh, her packages through that. And I'm sure Mariah loves it because ShipStation makes it easy to grow your business by handling your orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. And ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can also manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, easily compare rates, and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do too. And with the best discounts in the industry, you'll never worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation, and 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So be like Mariah, keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Use promo code UNFILTERED today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com and use promo code UNFILTERED. Thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. Let, let me get them goodies. Let me get that battery. All right, which one? Let me, I'm going to go battery first. You're going to... What are you going to do? You're gonna you need to lick it. Oh you guys my. never did it this? It shocks you? Mm -hmm. I was told not to, so I never did. <laughs> Why am I scared? I haven't done it so long. Oh, I heard that. Or do you think they fixed it? Or was this a 90s thing? No, you feel it. That's good. I think I hear bit. it. Let, right, me, let, me let me hear it. You do it. Quiet. Ah! Ooh. Uh, all right. Okay. Wow. I needed that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I hear a little click, click. Did it work? You want to try it? No. No. I just did. Come on, Matt. No. I'm Come not. on. Do a bump. I have a fresh one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not the same one, people. Uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. Don't Come learn. on. No, I don't know <laughs> if I want to do it. Yeah, it a, it's actually, it's. Not what I remember it being. I thought it was way worse. You know something crazy? Yeah. So no. my, my brother is on a business trip. Um, he's there for like a big work conference or whatever. Uh, out of town in a different state. This was a couple of days ago. He mm -hmm. goes downstairs. This is like, it's like early in the morning into the lobby. Guess who we see sitting in the lobby? Jason Nash. What? Yeah. Wait, in Scottsdale. My brother was staying at a hotel in Scottsdale for a work conference, my brother just going about his day walks down in the hotel and Jason Nash. He probably is in thought the he lobby. was he probably That's thought he was seeing so shit. Really yeah, oh my brother was like thought he was like having a stroke and was like, <laughs> what the hell? And like the thing is, Jason has only met my brother, I think, like once or twice. You know, yeah. Jason's like, oh hey, oh. But <laughs> yeah. then Jess, who sees my brother like pretty often, she was like, What are you doing here? And um, apparently Jason was there in Scottsdale filming like at the world's biggest gym or the most expensive gym or something. Jake, my man Jason is He's always doing somewhere. <laughs> doing the most. That's funny. That's crazy. What are the odds? And then my brother's like coworkers like saw him and didn't know. He, I guess he doesn't know much that, I don't know, that I saw Kevin brother. meeting with an older man. Well, they go, why are you talking to that Jason Nash guy? And, they, and then I think like when the CTOs would thought my brother like, was making Jason like a bit for like their presentation. Like he was gonna <laughs> come in and oh, like do funny. like a character or something. Oh, Jason would have done it too if he, if he, he just went yeah, along with it. Yeah, but just like, what are the odds? That's crazy. That's that really funny. funny. Out of all places, Scottsdale, Arizona, just in out of all the hotels, same one. That's so, I, I'm just imagining like uh, some like in the conference, somebody going, and we here we have the pre, uh, here to talk about whatever. Like what was it for? Uh, I don't know what the conference was for. Okay, but, but my, just, my brother works. And uh, 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 public notices. Like, okay, yeah. it'd been so it'd be so funny because Jason would just improv it. Yeah, would just have him come on stage, and everyone's just like, "What the <laughs> fuck is he talking about?" That would be good. I know, so, so good. 
<laughs> that'd have been the perfect moment too because it just like it happened out of nowhere that he was there yeah. and jason would have done it for snapchat <laughs> oh yeah absolutely it's just right there boom <laughs> right in your lap mm. i would love to see jason like on shark tank or something like that yeah. too <laughs> just pitching something oh i was about to say me uh we're going to see the the titanic museum thing next week oh fun oh, really yeah. i want to go um on. where are we going have you ever been to noah's uh, noah's ark I want to. That, that big one. That Isn't the, it in like Kansas or somewhere yeah. random? Wait. They like rebuilt it to. Exactly what it was. Supposedly like the same size. And who and has that information? The Bible. <laughs> the Bible says how big it was? Well, if it fit 10,000 species of animals times two. <laughs> <laughs> you do the math. You do the math, okay? So it's kind of a guesstimate on how big this arc was. Just you go there and just go, um, question. <laughs> <laughs> Where they put it's as big as a cruise ship, but it's like it's a, but it Pull looks it like up. a small boat. Oh, say, can we just start looking up the world's biggest things? Wait, remember <laughs> we used to thought that or the world's longest? Oh, things? the world's longest things. Like the uh, we wanted to look up just like any like the world's longest things of anything. <laughs> what like were water you? slides and penises. That's what I was figuring. <laughs> or like two the... types of people <laughs> do water slide. <laughs> See, I want to go to that. That's freaking cool. <laughs> that oh thing my is god! Sick. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> That's like Disney World. Is there a roller coaster? That, that, <laughs> that looks like a theme park map. You know, six, yeah. flags, six flags over Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was something about six those, disciples. the theme park maps though that they were like that kind of like 3D and then it had the, the ride. Yeah. <laughs> like, just like looking yes. at the map, it was at that like angle where everything was like kind of detailed and then the, the ride was like, you know, yeah. you know, the edge was like it would take them, it would take the most, uh like the most uh, like familiar part of the yeah, ride yeah. and just make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they have like, they have like the Judas, like jet, like Judas, <laughs> Judas. <laughs> Or like, um, or the no arc, but it's, it's a like flume. the pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the animals just go up. And you have to, and every other seat is as like an empty seat for you, but because the other <laughs> seats are filled with like these animals. No, it's got to be a flume drop and then the water. Like, ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is funny. Did somebody, uh, I felt like, oh, Todd got a piercing, but somebody else got a piercing. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan got his ears pierced. For the first time. He loves them. They look really great on them. Do you still have it? Oh, where's in? your dangly? You took your dangler out? I took it out uh, before I went to bed because it, it hurt. Don't you have to keep them in for like a week? I know, he can ride so I didn't have to. This is a superstition. Wait, <laughs> wait, you took it, you took the earring out? And then he- It's gonna heal back up. No, he put no. another, we just switched he just the earrings. Oh, oh. He's fine. We yeah. need to have, super you, have you been cleaning it with sea salt spray? All right, good. Wait, what superstition? No, they say to like leave it the in rule, for like four months before you change it. Yeah. it. But Why? everyone who gets their ears pierced just puts in whatever yeah, they want. I've, that's as I long said. as you take care of it and clean it. Yeah, the one that I got when I got my ears was a giant diamond, so I had to I yeah. had to replace it. It looked way too gaudy. <laughs> they were giant. Not it just looked like giant diamonds. I remember I had ones. I never I never like noticed that you have your Me ears. Me too. Ears. I Did, just put my hoops back in. I but, got I, I went and got hoops the other day. But you never had He hasn't worn jewelry in a while. He but has, you, I, I used but to have sweet. my cartilage, I had my nose pierced, I had my nipple, I had everything. I know, but what's funny is like you switch it up like a lot, I don't like notice. Like if I started mm. wearing earrings, I'll be like, Matt, you're wearing earrings. Well, like I know you, when you when you put your hoop in, I, I notice it. I haven't put in my hoop in years. It closed up three years ago. I bet it's still ready. No, it's not. It's it closed up. You're, oh, you're, you you're, sure? You put your ears through a lot, Matt. Yeah, <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> I want to get it re-pierced just so I have like the whole yeah i'm i'm really glad i have the whole forever like i'll grab like the like uh the other night where were we somebody had their earring out and i just took it i just oh, you put that <laughs> big ass thing in are you really gonna pierce your belly button again no no but i i still have the hole no oh, let me see there's no so way funny. yeah there's no way you could yeah put it in. i had it in for like four months there's no way you could I put think, it in i think so no oh, no 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 i wouldn't be able to put it back in but i definitely have like a like a hole that is so far. But like, I belly definitely belly button's thicker than like a regular earring. Yeah, like yeah. my nipples, I'd never be able to put back in. Ooh, he's so ha! Oh, he used to wear the sheriff, sheriff used, nipple piercing. I used to have a sheriff badge. <laughs> that was, like, it was this, this big, big. <laughs> and it was the star. It and was it like said, Janet Jackson. It said, it said sheriff, and the bar went right through the whole badge. Oh. 
<laughs> Matt, like it's crazy. Like back then, it probably it wasn't as funny as it is. Like thinking about it now, like no, how? it was funny because <laughs> I would walk around Denny House with my shirt, <laughs> <laughs> and I think this one was like a handcuff. Oh hell! Ew. And it would like pop through the shirt. Like you would, you see, would, the yeah, you would see the thing. whole thing, and people were probably like, "What is on your shirt?" You're like, <laughs> Come on! Oh man, I cannot believe I had those for so long. That was that was crazy. I don't think your hairs are gonna fall out of your head. I know they're staying in really. They look, actually, let me see. Yeah, take a peek. I think some already fell out. Oh no, they're gonna fall. I can tell, like they're gonna fall. Out. I, I could tell, I, I, I've done it before. I looked at it every day. It's weird, there's like little baby ones starting to grow that I feel like they already fell out and now they're growing. Like, cause some really? of them are like this long that were implanted and then yeah. some of them are like this, like really, really small coming in. You don't think there are maybe different sizes? Because no, you know, they, sh they shaved my head down. I know, but like, can't, don't you think that there'd be like different sizes for each follicle? Like they're not all like exactly the same size. I mean, if they skinned my head. No, I'm saying because under your skin, when they pull it out. I don't know. Do you sleep on a special pillow? I did for like the first week. Now I just sleep normally. Okay. It's just so itchy. It is so itchy. Your head, oh, in, the, your in the middle of the night. Made him wear gloves, like mittens. Yeah. Oh, because he was I, scratching at his head. I woke up and there was like skin all under my nails and I had clawed like my the whole top of my head like raw. Like I was just like in my sleep just oh just boy. going. You're rubbing going your, your, uh, you can I think you can rub your head now, right? Yeah, I've been touching it. Oh, no no no, I'm saying like when you uh condition it. Yeah, I've s softly been just Yeah, okay. I, I you, you should do it. Um do it twice. Do it uh, 10 minutes before or you leave it in your hair for 10 minutes before you shower and then you do it again. Yeah, because it, it, so it gets it gets rid of your um your like scabs. Flakes. It's so flaky right now. Um, it's snowing up there. Mm -hmm. Call, call them head the and shoulders. Do they still do they still still sell that? Um, sell some blue. Sell some blue. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, that, that don't wear don't wear black without, without the, the blue. blue. Sell, sell some blue. blue. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Great. Yeah, see dandruff shampoo for sure. They still have that brand though. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Wow, these brands, man. I always wonder how, like, how well is each brand doing? That one we've been using for years and been seeing for years. Like, I was wearing Sell Some Blue and my psoriasis was really bad because, like, remember, like everything was just flaking yeah. out. Yeah, I, yeah. Sell Some Blue. Wow, it works. We have a, a Sell Some customer still to this day. Awesome. Hey, awesome. You know what I didn't realize is that shampoo is for your hair conditioners for your scalp. What? What? Isn't that right? I don't No, conditioner's for your hair too. It, it makes your hair soft. It keeps it gets the knots out. Yeah, yeah. it could be for your scalp, but for me I, right, I need Right, but to take I the always out. thought the Most most people with long hair only condition the ends. Oh, yeah. okay. Like when I when yeah. I used to have my long hair, I wouldn't like I wouldn't massage conditioner into my scalp. Right. I would only just like grab the ends. Yeah, I try not to do it up here because my hair gets greasy really fast. So even when I wash it and condition it up here, it looks greasy. So I use a hair mask that's for your scalp. Uh, like oh, I, I should start it doing my that. Scalp, I let it sit. I wash everything else and then I rinse it out. Rinse you girls know everything. Everyone's yeah. hair though is so different. Like you'll see someone on TikTok doing something to their hair and it's just because that's, they have that type of hair. Everybody's yeah. Different. Everyone's yeah. hair is so different. Mm -hmm. It's just imp impossible. I try not to wash it a lot. I like, I like shampoo, shampoo, poo it like, a, like every week and a half. Shampoo poo. Mm -hmm. Really? Is that gross? And then you just water every other day? Every other day, I, I think water most, it. I think majority people wash their hair. There's girls that have like wash day where it's once a week. I yeah. do it three times a I week. I do it every other day. Monday, Wednesdays, Friday. I need it a lot. I every time really I shower, crazy. I shamp uh, shampoo. That's I've just been day. told that it's not good for your hair. So, and like, because I'm losing my hair quickly. I yeah, because like, they not, say I try to like you want to keep the oils. You don't want to strip the oils. But yeah. again, everybody's hair is different. I feel like I need mine washed twice a day. Yeah. It's also because I touch it all the time. So I get really mm. greasy. I feel like my hair looks the best like the next day after a shower though. Yes. Yeah. Like oh, I, yeah. I can't style my hair right out of oh, the shower. Or when you gel your hair and then you sleep in it and you wake and up the next day. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Like I love hairspraying my hair and then the next day I wake up and it's full and Oh nice. man. I love putting gel in my hair, but then like, then rubbing a towel, like acting like you're getting it off of it. Mm. Yeah. Getting the product out of your hair. And then it's like perfect. Like so you put the gel in, but then get a towel and try to get it off. And then it's like perfectly in your hair. It's like more, leftovers. It's more dense. Yeah. Better the next day. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Rocket Money. Try it free for 30 days is enough time to try and completely forget about a subscription or service. Before you know it, you're paying for a subscription that you don't use every single month. With Rocket Money, you can change that with just a few quick taps. As you guys know, Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted 
unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, like that streaming service you bought to watch just one show on, or that free trial that you never ever used. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. That's insane. $720 a year for the average person saved just on expenses that they didn't know they were paying for. You know how many grocery trips that is? Oh my God, it's insane. That's like that's like six and a half grocery trips where mm -hmm. you could easily just, and it's all going to apps that you don't even use anymore. Use once. That's right, baby. Okay. So stop throwing away your money, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way. All you got to do is go to rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered. One more time so you don't forget it and you start saving that money. All you got to do is go to rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. And thank you for saving all of us $720 a year on average. Cold spaghetti. Cold, cold spaghetti. Out of the fridge. No. Cold spaghetti. Ooh. No, why do you like cold? Like, why do you like hot stuff cold? I feel like it's a lot of things you like. Cold, cold. beans? Yo. Ew. Ew. Don't talk to me until you've had. Oh, I've cold. had some cold beans. Yeah. No, out of the fridge from a tub, cold beans. No. Unmatched. I, I just don't like, I don't understand that. You also like cold brownies, not hot. Yes. I like okay, cold, you see I like, that? No, I like cold brownies. I agree with you. Yeah. No, I, I but he likes like, it better than hot brownies. I would put it in the freezer. It doesn't like matter. Yes, it does matter. Like, what? Wait, it's so crazy. You, you take a cold brownie and you heat it up in the microwave? Absolutely. Yo, that is uh, weird. It's, ain't about that. Like some people. Okay. Hot treat. What, do you put? I your, like room temperature brownies. Well, yeah, that too. Firehouse brownies were the best, first of all. Yes. And Saran wrap. Throw, I would ask them actually to get the ones from the fridge in the back, <laughs> not the ones on this display. But then if I got it, I would throw it in the uh, the freezer at home. <laughs> well, that's why you, that's why you used to keep your cigarettes in the freezer. <laughs> keep some fresher longer. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you yes, I did. No, that's true. What? That's true. Yeah, all my cigarettes. The whole it, carton it keeps it better. The whole quiet. carton would be in the in the fridge. Anything, <laughs> anything but food. No. <laughs> Money, cigarettes. It's cigarettes always in the freezer. Cigars on ice. Cigars on ice. I never did cigars on ice. But like, yeah, keeps them fresh. <laughs> you should right. put a little like droplets of water in each cigarette and then you put it back in the freezer. <laughs> what? And then you just start handing it to me. No, like you go out at night and you like pull out your cigarette to show people you have it like full pack. And people are like, oh, can I bump one? You're like, sure. And it's an ice. <laughs> <laughs> just, just see their reaction to lighting up an icicle cigarette. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you did that. Because you would smoke them so fast, there wasn't time for it to go stale. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true. true. No, there, there's no way you would like let a pack go for more than two days. Well, I cannot, <laughs> no fucking no I can't freaking believe way. I was a pack and a half a day. Yeah. But, but hey, but you're happy. Crazy. You were happy. I was. Dude. He's <laughs> you're still happy. happy. He's saying he's still happy. No, no. I'm saying like <laughs> as, as much as he was destroying his body in all angles, he was still happy, which I was like, which, because normally it's, people are, you know, you kind of like go down, like, you know, you know, it's bad and you know, you're a real smoker when you don't care if you finish the cigarette. <laughs> I used to watch my mom. We would go to the mall. She would get out of the car and she would light a cigarette to walk up to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> to smoke like this much of it. Uh -huh. The whole thing is like this long. She smoked that much and she just put it out and walked in. I'm like, you're wasting it. I remember watching her being like, what was the point? Yeah. But then as I got older and I became like a smoker, I would do the same. I'd just be <laughs> <laughs> and like, that was it. I'm surprised she doesn't like put it out and put it back in the cigarette. No, she Box. would never do that. Dude, you, was your cigarette addiction ever bad where you'd be at the mall shopping and you would have to go, go out, out yes. have a cigarette and go back yes. to shopping? <laughs> like, that's what I knew it was bad. Like, I'm like shopping going, ooh, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, so bad. Like, what? Dude. It, no, mine was so bad that like I also didn't have like the money to feed the habit. Yeah, you know, it's very expensive. I used to on break I would go out in the ashtray and I would pick up half smoked hey. cigarettes. <laughs> Not lying. And then Bro. I, I would take a lighter and I would like burn the the end of the filter where that they smoked from and I would finish just. 
Ugh. other people's cigarettes. My man came from the dumps. I also, I <laughs> look at if you. If I was bro. real fancy, I'd have rolling papers and I would just <laughs> empty, real empty fancy. all of their cigarettes into my own roll and then I'd roll oh that. Oh my goodness. And do you ever wonder what if we just started smoking cigs again like old fucking times? I have a feeling would it's going to come would back. We, would we suddenly be like, I don't, think it, I don't think it is. I think it's going to. Yeah. I think now that everybody is addicted to these e-cigarettes, they're going to, they already banned the flavors. Now they're going to ban them and people are going to be like, the only thing left is cigarettes. And then what if this was the whole point I, to do dude, that, to get back to cigarettes? Because the people that like own the e-cigarette stuff own like the regular tobacco stuff. Like they're all like, they're all entangling with each other. I don't mm -hmm. think e-cigarettes are going anywhere. I think the flavors are going to get are more boring, but they are will always be more convenient than a cigarette. No, they they are have to be boring. There can only, never be only a, California though. None. Oh, only in California. I thought it was all over the oh, Vegas. But I'm saying for overall sure just to, to be allowed to smoke it, it's more convenient than a cigarette. Got you can it. get away with it all, any place anytime. Got it. Jordan, well. that ice is insane. He has like a chewing issue. <laughs> he he sounds like there's a microphone in Wait, his mouth. Wait, listen, listen. <laughs> Ooh. Jeez, <laughs> gonna break your teeth. It sounds like he's chewing his teeth. Did David Dobrik ch chip his tooth? Chip his tooth? Like, why did I just feel like I heard about that? Chipped his tooth? Did I dream that? Yeah, we Maybe. just saw him today. He didn't chip a tooth, right? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that was really funny what? the other night. Oh, Matt wasn't there. What? Whoa. Um, oh, one second. <laughs> Are you surprised I made it this long? No, I oh, knew you. Would, I knew yeah. you would stick you're with good, it. You're good. Like, you knew that. I knew you were like addicted, but like yeah. if you put oh, your you. mind to something, you're gonna. No, no, I wasn't surprised. Yeah, you're good. I I will say, Zane, I'm very surprised that you didn't even try to start. Yeah. Start what? Start quitting. Oh, I know, I know. I thought you were gonna at least try. Didn't oh, you no. say it? You promised. I did. I say a lot of things. What do you want to? What do you, you want take me to do? hell? You and Danielle were like, oh yeah, we're totally quitting. Absolutely, yeah, we're know. done with this. They're both just like. I know, I know. Crucify me. Did you buy more? No, I, it was that box. That's it. I, this is my last one. I literally can't buy anymore. He said so he's going to drive it across. He's going to make Leah drive across the state line. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to get to Nevada. Yeah, get to Reno. <laughs> <laughs> do what you got to do. Get to Reno. Get to Reno now. Now. Do whatever you need to do. No. I need them by two. Oh, you want to hear something? You want to hear something crazy? You want to hear something crazy? I, I think this is going to work. I look, I think this is going to work. Hear me out. Okay, we're listening. Vapes, done. I can't do vapes, right? It do doesn't matter the week, whatever. I cannot do vapes. Somebody has a vape. Nope, I can't smoke it. But if I want to smoke, I have to smoke a cigarette. And I don't like smoking cigarettes. But that's the only thing I'm allowed to smoke. See, this is what I was talking about. This sure. is where they get you. But I know, Zane, Zane, you're going to be like, give me the fucking vape. If, if all you're I can do is cigarettes. I just feel like you're going to have a bad day. You're going to be like, fuck the cigarettes. <laughs> give me the fucking vape. But I can't. <clears throat> I don't like the other vapes. I genuinely <laughs> cannot be stand on close friends. Those Anybody vapes. have any more? <laughs> <laughs> you, you do. You do realize that all the smoke shops still sell all the flavor crazy shit. When I did, when I did get the box from the smoke shop that I yeah. uh, used to go to, the lady. It was so sad. The lady told me she was down sales by seventy percent. Oh yeah, they're going out of business. Seventy percent. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, yeah. That's so, so sad. But you know what? Somebody out there is already thinking of a new thing. Yeah, there's yeah. always a loophole. How did they do that with, um, like, the jewels couldn't do it, but then the puff bars could do it, and then the puff bars couldn't do it, and then the, the right. elf bars could do it. Then it was the this bar, and then the hype. The and then the it was more of like a, it wasn't, I think, it had nothing to do with being illegal or like a law. It was more like a cease and... Like it wasn't it like not it wasn't illegal. It oh, was they were they were attacking the individual brand. That's right. Like exactly. Joel got attacked, and then and they now got it's like it. anything. It doesn't matter what brand it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. There'll be something else that comes out. It's gonna be the new thing. <laughs> I want it to go back to uh, yes, the like chaw, <laughs> <laughs> the big chief. Just I want to see oh. kids hands in bags of straight tobacco leaves. Just oh my oh. god, <laughs> I, I want to see. Like I, what movie was it? Sandlot. 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 And then uh, just, uh. <laughs> I want to see a spittoon. I want to walk into a bar and there's a, there's a communal bucket. Why does it make Ew. that sound? Why does it go? What, yeah, what is it? Ding. It was, what, I guess it was just the, is it like a lever? Like the spit hits something and then that causes it. To how go. is it do? How is it tinging? If it's just a bunch of leaves? No, you're spitting. You like, have a bunch of like juice in your mouth and you spit. What's it called? A, a spittoon. What's it? What, uh, can you look up a spittoon? How does a spittoon Is it spittoon a uh, place in SpongeBob? The spittoon lagoon or something? The goo lagoon? Oh. Yeah, the spit. Look right there. 
I think it's just like the the material, like the metal, when you just like oh. spit onto it, like it just has like a. <laughs> That's what the, the shoes make. It's fun, <laughs> mom. Squeaky shoes. Yeah, I want I want to walk into bars and everybody's spitting in a bucket. I want to see that. <laughs> you really want to see that? And then and then and then there's a shootout, and then you go outside, and whoever's got the quickest draw. You know, for shits and kicks. And spits. I can't believe people for did shootouts. <laughs> shootouts? Yeah, like, dude, imagine that. It wasn't like, yo, you got beef, let's fight. It's like, no. Dude. We're going we're gonna to walk outside. We're going to turn our backs to each other. And then on the count of three, we're going to turn around as quick as we can and shoot at Isn't each other. Isn't that crazy? Like death. Yeah, who was like, you have a problem with someone today? That is cr Imagine living in that time. Just like, I miss Johnny. He shouldn't have done that shootout. He shouldn't have done that shootout. <laughs> yeah. like, like, just damn. We were, we were talking about the other day. Like, imagine being a, like, a, like a part of a gang, like a gang family. Like, always having to be on the lookout and always having to watch your back every single day mm -mm. until the day you die. I couldn't. And like, you can't get out of it. Like, once you're in it, you're in it yeah. for life. You're always connected. You could be, you could be. All the way across the country, they'll find you. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, DoorDash. It's probably time to pick up groceries when you're eating ramen for the fourth time this week. On or off campus, you can use DoorDash to save you that last minute grocery run. And get the back to school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with Dash Pass. It's just $4.99 a month for students. Come on, baby, you know it's worth it. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. And Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less, so you can satisfy those spur of the moment cravings or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. And Dash Pass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving you grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited $0 delivery fees. So for a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code ZANE. Sorry, baby. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code ZANE. Exactly. Don't forget, that's code ZANE. They made for 50% it 50% off. They made it easier to remember. It's just Zane, not Zane and Heath. <laughs> for up to 50% off, up to a $20 value, and $0 delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. I would never make terms apply if it was code Heath. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. What was the fast food thing? What are you we're talking about? Yo, we're just oh, so we were, you missed out. We were, we were going over the most popular discontinued items in every fast food joint. And we like could not believe back what, the most insane memory. It was memories. crazy what, uh, we were, what we were finding. And we really wanted to show you. Do was you, this for content? No, we, we just, it was after the high episode. Um, oh, and okay. We, we had ordered Taco Bell and we were just like, got to talk about, yo, you remember when they had this? And then we were like going like back and forth about other items. And then we looked it up and there's lists of people that like have been putting uh, like their favorite. Do you remember <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's had salad shakers? Do you yes. remember that? Yes, and Beyonce, was like, Destiny's and Child promoted them. Like, <laughs> dude, it was, yeah, they would like those yes. with the top. It was almost like a McFlurry kind of yeah. <laughs> Yes. And they and would, you would, would just shake, shake it. And then they would also have those, oh, those like uh the lettuce wraps at like mcdonald's okay right? do you remember mcdonald's when they i don't know how long it ran but it was the best thing they had they were called the the mcchicken selects yeah it was like actual real chicken tenders yes and yeah. then they had the mcchicken select wraps that were the best thing in the world and they got rid of all of these things mm -hmm. and they were in that like paper container and you would like mm. oh yeah yeah yeah. and then we were talking about the oh, apple the but, apple pies and, from and McDonald's. The, the hershey they pie. don't do apple the, pies the little anymore? turnovers I haven't seen them. No, I used to fuck up those Hershey <gasps> pies. They were so good. Dairy Queen's McSturry Mystery? <laughs> or Misty? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Dude, there was some good ones. Or uh, Matt, do you remember? Or uh, Taco Bell used to have the, um, it was their, for their version of a Sloppy Joe. It was like the taco it, it, talking me on a on a, a bun. bun. Like it was a, one of Taco Bell's <laughs> burgers. I never heard But it was a it. Sloppy Joe. Oh, and then do you remember it, when KFC did the the sandwiches, but instead of buns, they were just, just, just chicken. 
Oh, double down. <laughs> double down. The sandwich was two chickens yeah. with, with just cheese and lettuce and bacon in the middle. And you're biting two chickens. What, what, what is, that? is that? Double down. <laughs> that was how, just, about, how about double it and give it to the next person? <laughs> how about double bypass it was, surgery? It was too much. It was way too much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. KFC did have something that was amazing, the, and we would always drive through to get it. They were in like a wrapper. And there was like three different kinds. Do you remember this? Oh, I say that again. I it still came love in the like bowls. A, the like bowls a, are the best oh, thing. You was it? it was like a wrapper and then it was like a bun, like a sesame bun. And there was like three different like flavor things. Oh man, I don't remember what it was, but they were amazing. The uh, chicken littles. Those, those. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. Oh, remember when Burger King made like the black burger? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the black, the black buns with no. the patty. You've never seen. Yo, it was black. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, it was like for. Wasn't this like a promo for some movie? Yeah, it was a promo for something. What is that? He, I can't believe you've never seen that. No. Yeah, that was promoted everywhere for Halloween. That, ew, ew. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That's the black cheese. That's insane. No way. They did not. Do the, oh, that God. is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, Zane brought it up. Do you remember when BK changed their nuggets to crowns? It was a crown shaped. Remember that? Kind, yes, yes. Oh, wait, I thought there was like, were there dinosaur shapes too? No, no, dinosaur. No, that's a, that's, dino, dino nuggets. that's dino nuggets. Look at you. They look like, yes. they look like Patrick. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, because is their, their logo is a crown, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, do you remember the 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 Szechuan sauce from McDonald's? Yes, Mulan Szechuan sauce. Oh yes, the best. I th didn't they bring it back for a little bit, like a couple of years ago? I feel like I, I, I feel like they, I feel did. Like they did a mukbang with like Joe or something, and it was like the mm. Szechuan sauce. Yeah, I'm glad they brought the uh, the BK chicken fries back because those were money. Yeah, they just need to bring back the spicy chicken nuggets, and then I'll be happy. But um, I never feel like there's a good Wendy's nearby us. Oh, we just hit Wendy's the other day. Love Wendy's. We got destroyed from the Wendy's. Like, shit your pants on the drive home. Oh type. no, bad. You ate too much. Not even Wendy listens they, to this podcast. It was. It, it tasted. Oh my god, like, Wendy's listens to the. No, it tasted good, but like I just like don't eat fast food a lot. So when I do, it just like yeah, it don't sit right. Yeah, I ate um, in and out the other but day. They and have, it went right through me. They have a new. <laughs> it's a. It's like a. What, like a like a marinara with a mozzarella stick on top of their burgers. What? Oh. Is it their meatball marinara? That's enough. It, that's enough. <laughs> uh, this is at Wendy's? Yes. This you doesn't either, sound like you, Wendy's. I know. You could either do it with like a chicken patty or you could do a like a, a burger Jordan with Trump. the mozzarella fried cheese on top with marinara sauce. So it's kind of like a chicken parmesan that they Basically. make? Like what did it, and what, how was it? it, was like a, it yeah, he, it was like a chicken parm. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I like when they try stuff though like step out of the box let's that's like true. make something crazy i was like when you order at wendy's it's like they make you like get on a an amusement park <laughs> 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 why yeah because like all the other fast food places you just walk right up and you order wendy's has like a metal oh yeah, like, yeah. shit like you'd be like you'd be like there could be no one there you're like hello <laughs> <laughs> You be like zigzagging, like hold yeah, on, yeah. I'll be there soon. <laughs> like oh. a barricade? Yeah, 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 yeah like the, the, like the um the, the line, the cue. Yeah. It's like, but it's like metal. It's like in the, <laughs> yeah. in the grass. It yeah. ain't like a ribbon. Like yeah. it is like all right. You be, you be like sit. Like, you can sit. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Out like at a you would just put your legs to the top. <laughs> right, that was the hangout spot after school. You and you sat. You hung out in the line. They had the sunroom, like yeah. the, the little like solarium. Yes. on the side. Matt, you ready for this? What? Remember Bacon Sunday at Burger King. <laughs> Burger King Bacon Sunday. Bacon Sunday. You don't remember that? Oh look, that's the that's the <laughs> chicken <Ooh. laughs> bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, is god. That like, is that, like that, a looks, that looks amazing. Is though. that supposed to be like a ciabatta bun? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll make it seem like it, it's Italian. Is, yeah, Mar- Mariah, it's Italian mozzarella chicken. I don't, I don't claim Wendy's. <laughs> Asiago. Well, I, I bet you eat one of those. You probably love it. That they're it's that's, that's they're doing too much. It's, they're putting everything on the menu in one. But you eat White Castle burgers. Yes, I do. Only, <laughs> only the frozen ones. Yeah, I don't go into the restaurant. It's White Castle in person. So frozen, you don't even heat it up. No, no, no. I'm saying <laughs> the ones you get from the grocery store, the frozen ones are yeah. way better than ordering a fresh yeah. White Castle. That's yes. insane. White That's crazy. I used to eat oh, when I get home from school, my little snack before mm. my parents got home. Yes. White Castle, microwave it. Yes. Ooh, I loved so it because there were no White Castles like in Dallas. Yeah. My mom, that was her craving when she was pregnant with me. I think that's the only reason why. Because I, I am not a fan of microwavable food at all. White Castle cheeseburgers, my guilty pleasure. Puts it down. That's all my mom ate when she was pregnant with me. Yeah. It's got to be uh, something in the uh, umbilical. What's it called? Yeah. Something. What's it cool? Umbilical cord. We should take you to every fast food place and you have to try out. <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> you have I'm, to though. I'm sick right now. But you've never, but you've it. never done it though. You've never eaten it. He had me try taco, you gotta get though. the toys yeah. too. Make up for all like the lost toys you didn't yeah. get too. Yeah, I did have her try Taco Bell. Those Happy Meals were the best things in the world. Do you remember those. the Rugrats I'm- watches from Burger King? Yes. Yes. Uh, the, Chucky, yes. The, the Chucky one with the green. bananas and you could like scratch and Stop. sniff it. I, I was thinking, I was looking oh. on eBay and I was like, should I buy this or should I not? I just wanted to like have it wow. in my hand. I went to the oldest McDonald's in Downey and they have it's one cool. side of the restaurant is a whole little... Mem- not memorial, Mem- a museum, I guess. Yeah. In the case, they have the original Happy Meals and the toys. Oh, that's really cool. cool. And yeah. it shows all the different packaging. Looking at the old McDonald's packages, you don't remember them changing it, but when you see like the the sleeves um, from like the 90s that yeah. we would go get as or the, yes. or the trays. And you see the cups, like the way it looks... You don't yeah. realize that it had been changing, but seeing that because they have them all on display, you're like, "Oh my god!" I, I, remember I literally these. can't even picture it right now what they like. What the wait, old wait, wait! The so old crazy. McDonald's packaging looked like in our yes. time. It had old blue McDonald's. in it. It was yes. red, yellow, and there was a little accent of blue behind the uh, uh, the M. <clears throat> Look up 90s, 90s McDonald's packaging. No, that's, no, that's too, too old. old. Oh, look at the bag on the bottom right. You see that? It, Oh, oh yes, that God. one, that brown bag. Yeah, that second picture. Oh, yes. yes. The second picture. So weird. Look at that. Yeah, it was blue. Yes, it that's blue what I remember. It. That It's not like that still? No. <laughs> oh, that's, that is, if someone told me draw McDonald's, <laughs> I would draw that. Also, did oh, you ever funny. notice Ronald used to just be standing by a trash can, th- throwing it away? Now he's running to the trash can to throw oh, it away. Oh, really? As a way to like promote people like really throw away their stuff. Rather All than right. Like, that looks have, reusable. Do you know like people now just call the brands right now and our whole branding blands they because, because they are they're getting they're getting more bland they they're getting oh, more like yeah. they call them blands like we just oh you can create any type of product just make it look as boring as possible yep. yeah, yeah. That they're taking the color out of everything yeah. I, I went to like a strip mall the other day and every store looked exactly the same because it looked i hate to use this as an example see unfiltered yeah. <laughs> every store like a shit logo like this every store was black and white with Ooh. like a black and white font that was just yeah, blo- yeah it all looked the same it's wow so, that hurt i i i miss the old taco bell logo too i hate the new one i'm gonna say it i, I can't even picture the, new, the one new one is just one. white and purple uh, the old one is be pink I, I missed the old one Pink that looked yellow. like a it looked like a dragon eye. Like yes. wait, no, it was a bell. Look, yeah, but it looks like a dragon eye. Whoa, I never noticed. Oh, that. okay. You see it? Like the yellow is the eyeball, and that's like the little highlight on the eye. All right, it, go, it looks like this. All right, go off. All right, fucking. Yeah, I don't like that. They're taking the fun out of everything. Did you go to a roller rink recently? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did the other day. Oh, yeah, how was that? Freaking I love awesome. roller rinks. They're so fun. Whether you're good or not, it's always a blast. Oh, not for me. They're so fun. It, it, I feel like I'm I'm working out more. Like I'm, I feel like I'm trying to stay like stay up more. You're thinking too much. Oh, you have trouble with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it. the crossover. Yeah, I've always wanted to learn how to master that. Like that I can is, I can roller I skate, but not do like the in the world. You ever see videos of just like a bunch of dudes who are like older guys? Yeah, go go to this roller rink. It's oh, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad so, loves rollerblading or roller skating. Moonlight is really cool. Um, yeah. We went on the the 18 plus night, full fully nude. <laughs> uh, no, but we <clears throat> we we all went to one in like Northridge a long time ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. And it was like super super old crowd, mm-hmm. and it was just all these old dudes getting down. Like they were dressed to this. the nines. They it were was dressed. so sick. It was Fully the discoed. coolest thing I've ever seen. And you did not want to be in there because you didn't want to make anybody look bad. Yeah. yeah. It, it, 
you you don't want to be in. The I don't way. think we bothered stepping foot in there. No, we just I don't sat there and did watched. Yeah, for like it was an hour. Really entertaining. We were there for about forty five minutes just watching them. Because they're really good. The, a certain song plays and they're all like Earth, Wind, and Fire plays. Like, like everyone know the steps. It, it's just cool. It's just cool they were, that they all they were <clears throat> line dancing while skating in a circle. Yeah. yeah, insane. Like they like they all just do that every Sunday night. It's so it's so, so cool. it's a Sunday do they night. Only, right? Do they only run out roller skates or can you get blades? It's just skates, only the, I think. the the yeah. The you got to bring your yeah, own yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. yo. But then some people there have the ones with the mini wheels, like the low rider skates. Mm. Uh huh. And they're loud. Them things are cool. Yeah. Is it like loud? Yes. Like it, it sounds like they're like metal wheels. Like oh, wow. Grinding on the wood. It's, oh, shit. It's shit. sick. People are just smooth with it. I love it. I got so high the other night, by the way. Did you guys, know, did you, you guys, like, no, did you guys like notice that yeah. or was I normal? <laughs> no, you, we you said you got high. <laughs> it you hit started. you after the episode, though, because you it was, guys. You way after the episode took another edible later in the episode because nothing was hot you guys felt fine yeah and then it hit you guys like an hour after filming you destroyed my kitchen did i really <laughs> i was no no i've never like i was pretty close to that cookie night oh on you the couch <laughs> oh that yeah i was pretty close i was pretty close to that i was so scared i was you got like every time you like you guys were talking about stuff and I kept feeling like you all were staring at me. Really? Like and like ready, ready to pounce. This, <laughs> I, I, this dude, was I, the earthquake night. Um no, oh. I was fine by, by the earthquake. I almost oh. had a panic attack during our episode. When Jordan was like telling a story, I was just thinking about myself and like I looked down at my social media for one thing and I was like, I want to delete everything. <laughs> like I hate. Oh, you had a whole you had a whole thing too. Yeah, I had like half a joint and like half an edible. And Jeez. also the other half that you gave me. I was stoned out oh of my, my mind. Oh my God. That I episode, do I don't that. even remember. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even I honestly don't remember. I know, yeah, like right when we got out, I got a lift home and I was just like, goodbye. But then what was crazy is suddenly when I went home and I was watching the show, that when I was sober was so confusing to me. And then I was high, the whole show made sense. And I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, it. I love this show. I get everything that's going on. It's wild how like an altered state of mind was like suddenly clicks in. Yeah. And um, everything made but sense. But I just wanted to like, I wanted to apologize. For that. No, <laughs> because it was, you should, I wish you were in my body. You would be like, damn, you are, you are gone. I was, I felt like I was on the moon. You just didn't stop eating. Yeah, I had it. to keep eating in order to, uh, just Keep feel better. <laughs> just uh, like I had to focus on something and I had to be eating be or else you then I would have- the entire bag of Milano's. Yes, I did. And I haven't even opened them yet. Oh, that's why when you gave it to Mariah. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. But looking at your face in that video, you could tell you were like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, what is, what's his deal? And I realized Zane it was seemed fun. Odd. I was with aliens for sure. You were so disappointed when I told you to like, just throw it to me. You were like, do you want this? And I put my hand up for you to throw it. And you're like, no. Oh, it's the last the one. The last one. I ate them all. You did a number on that Taco Bell too. I know. I felt really and bad. And I made you macaroni. Wow. <laughs> Stuck a Every feather food in his hat. You're good. Dairy, carbs. Do <laughs> you remember the, the <laughs> six-year-old um, <laughs> Thin Mints that I busted out? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, at 60 years old. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> <It> was <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Oh man, we were just like eating stuff. So I pulled out like, I just have like Thin Mints in the freezer on deck. You never know when you're gonna want some. So it was like- It tasted a, perfect, by Six the way. year old package. Huh? They you age, haven't been living in this house six years. It, yeah, they travel with. They age like fine wine. It's crazy. And then I gave Jordan one. I just walked over and we like put it in his mouth and he's like, oh, these are good. These are six years old. <laughs> and then um, we were just like eating snacks and we we're like trying stuff and then uh, Zane found the drawer that had the peanut butter dog treats, the really hard ones <laughs> yeah. from Trader Joe's that look like the regular peanut butter cookies. Yes. So Zane walked over and put it in Jordan's hand and Jordan snaps it. Cause he's sitting here on his DS on, on his He back. is in his own world and he's, he's just playing, like he eating just it. biting it and then he's like, oh, these are disgusting. <laughs> he's like, these are bland. <laughs> but he kept chewing it. He just kept chewing like he was it. being so polite oh, about it. Oh, I've been it. there before. And then, and then we all just started dying. And then he looked at it. He's like, what is this? And then we started laughing. We were like, oh, it's a dog treat. And then he freaked out. And we're, and we we're like, oh, this guy, like he was so focused. Like, oh, he's going to eat. Anything. He's going to eat anything. I was like, give him something like, cause he likes candy. Uh -huh. um, but I couldn't find any like sweet candy or like sour candy. And all we had was the bag of the weed gummies <laughs> that looked like just uh, yeah. like blue jelly gummies. So I gave a handful to Zane. I was like, Zane, go give him some gummies to make up for. Uh, so his, you guys did not feed him. He's, he's, he's sitting there and I put it on his chest. He goes, 
He took the, he took the, whole, the whole group of them. Threw it in All mouth. of the gummies? Guys! They, they, that's not cool. He didn't he started, know. No, I, 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 he literally started to it. And I, it was and like I a took puppy. It, I Zane, took it out of his mouth. Like Zane blamed him. He goes, spit those out. Spit Zane, those Zane out. grabbed him by the mouth. <laughs> oh, started finger in his mouth to get him out. I didn't think he was going to chew that quickly. Because was, he went. <laughs> I, I can hear the ice. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's an episode of The Office where they try to see what, like, if they can get Stanley's attention in any way. So they do the most absurd. Third things around him and he just doesn't notice anything. That's, that's Jordan. Yeah. When he's on his DS. That's so funny. His my man. DS. My man was gaming. Oh wait, what is it? Switch. MTV. Switch. MTV DS. MTV Torres. MTV Torres. DS. DS. Oh, did you guys know? Uh, you have to have known this already. Car um, they found Kara Baskin's dead husband. Yes. What? After wait, after I did years. Not hear this. They found. Carol Baskin's dead husband that everybody said she that thought, she killed. Yeah. Where they found they, him. Where did they find him? It, like in Puerto Rico. Is he alive or his body? He's alive. alive. He's alive. Wait, yeah. How come I didn't hear about this? You yeah. No, I saw I, I saw an article like a few days ago. I'm pretty sure I said this on the podcast. Wait, you did? I'm pretty sure. When? A little when while ago. When did they find him? Re a while ago. You've never talked about it on the podcast, but you have talked about it in, in human behavior. Inhuman. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, remember, I remember seeing something about it a while ago. I don't remember you talking yeah. about it. Yeah. But that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was fucking insane. But now that I know it happened months ago, it's not cool anymore. He's alive. Alive. Yeah. But like, screw him for not coming out and saying, hey, my wife, my ex-wife didn't <laughs> fucking yeah, murder him. Yeah, you should have missed out on a book but, deal. But you know, he was sitting there laughing. Obviously, he probably had a very bad breakup. <laughs> so he probably, to get, her, to get back at her. World. Honestly. But that's really messed up though. Like yeah. to put her through that, that's really evil. Because <laughs> I truly thought she, <laughs> I don't know. She just had that like vibe. Is Imagine he, being him and then watching all these kids on, t Carol Baskin yeah. <laughs> killed her husband. <laughs> and then what like you're just sitting there like watching all this go oh down. Like, and you're alive. <laughs> is, is Tiger King still in jail? I don't know. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure. He is still in jail. He, he went to jail for, it was a conspiracy to something or was it the- It was like it, money, right? Money endangering people. He just—it was a bunch of shit uh, and drugs. Something. It's a combination. I really. What's his name again? Joe, Joe Exotic. Exotic. Was like... Masha on the show? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so <laughs> what? Who's Masha? Yeah, apparently, Masha was one of the girls in one of the episodes with like the tiger uh, with like the ring or something. I don't like. It was something like that. Then I didn't know she was on the show until that uh, TMZ <laughs> article came out of her <laughs> her mug shot. <laughs> So confused. Are, okay, Masha, Masha, uh, like we, one she's, day on she's TMZ. One of, like the Vegas friends, Mishka. Oh, Mishka. Masha's a friend? Yeah. yeah, Masha. That's uh Brett Robinson's friend, Masha. I never met her. You never met her? her okay, <laughs> so. Her in my life. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, a TMZ article came out of her and it was her mugshot. We're like, oh my God, what is this? And it says Tiger King's <laughs> yeah. uh, something, Masha. We're like, huh? What? And it was like, uh, uh, was uh, charged for stealing a Calabrera or whatever. And I'm like, what is a going on? A capybara? A ca yeah, whatever that is. What is the that? The animal, the capybara? Yeah, a capybara. It's the giant rat we had the, that the like 45 minute episode No, about. no, 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 no. It was like a, it was like this, it was like a uh, a lamp or something. It was oh. like a Calabrera. It was called something like okay. that. A Calabrera lamp. But it was, apparently it was very, very expensive. But like the story was that like she just took it. I don't know. I forget. Masha took it? Yeah. But it was like, <laughs> I, forget, I forget what she told me. But here, let me read the article because I like could not believe my eyes. <laughs> it said, Tiger King, hot nanny arrested. Hot for, nanny? Hot nanny arrested for stealing $5,000 candelabra from Vegas Club. Oh, so she didn't steal on the show. She just stole oh, in yeah. Vegas. <laughs> but they're calling her. She's in. She's I got in that whole headline. Mixed but up. Masha's in Tiger King. Like she's in the. She's I, apparently. I didn't know that. What? That is Tiger King's hot nanny. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I'm so. I feel like we're. This is a high episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm wasted. We're all right over now. the place. Yeah, no, this is definitely a high episode. <laughs> I definitely. I don't like talking about sad things, but something sad really did oh, happen. I oh, I love hearing about sad things. No, what? no, uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm, so I'm pretty sad. like. Oh, 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 you know one of the ready. chickens. No, no, no. no. On TikTok, there's this father-son duo. Yes, the Enki boys. E-N-K-Y. And the son is this incredible, like, 
lip syncer. Like he's we, very we good at acting. We show you the kid all the time with his dad. Oh, the one that's like a really good Amazing actor. Amazing yeah. good he at lip syncs acting. Perfectly. And, and ended up getting on the George. This? He ended up getting on the George Lopez. Um, he's on the new George show. Lopez show now. The kid. Oh the kid. shit! He's amazing. Wait, he's on on the actual show. Yeah, he's amazing. He, but you he know how he always wow. films TikToks with his dad. And yeah, like, no, he was incredible. He was like, in a movie with Kevin Hart, and he, yeah, he's killing it. He's he's in. Um, super talented kid, talented family. He, they also have a daughter. He's married. Like they're just a very sweet family. Um, the dad had cancer for a while, and he just passed away the other day. Oh my god, no! Thirty five years old. Yeah, yeah. he had colon cancer. It's awful. Thirty five. That's. Feel so bad. I know when it came up on my feet, I was like, "Oh God, no, no, no!" I know. No, I did. No, I was no, like no. this. I was no, like, no, I, no. I was like, I, I, yeah. it was almost too hard for me to like sit there. And, oh like, my take God! Like he's st he's still like he's he's six. Oh my God! So talented. Mm -hmm. totally How is it, Dad? I've never. Uh, I've I've only seen like the uh, the lump sinking TikTok. I've never seen like an actual. From um, what I can see, the kids are very well raised, super polite. Yeah, like they just seem like a normal happy family oh my God, and he so was sad. posting about his cancer and trying to like raise awareness for colon cancer and he was like go get everybody go get checked whatever and he kept posting he was like i'm doing good i have to switch chemos but i'm doing good and all this stuff and wow he just passed so i can't Dang. imagine what they're going through this happened a couple days ago i think it happened yesterday actually damn everybody send love to the kid what's his name the little... bryce i kind of want to go get checked for colon cancer now I mean, even even if you feel like you have a scare, remember when I like yeah. thought I had a scare of testicular? Just just get checked. It's much better just getting a check and just knowing that you did <laughs> I it. I know. I had a friend of mine who had esophageal cancer. You thought you did? No, a friend of, <clears throat> a friend of Patricia and I had it, and we were in during the summer. It was the summer of two thousand and I think it was summer of two thousand twenty. We were having like dinner, and he was complaining that he was uh, who was having a tough time of swallowing things uh, that that whole time at the lake, and he then he went to um, get it checked just out. Swallow? No, he just was I just didn't. like he, just he was just like just he was like had a tough time like getting down his food and stuff. Uh -huh. And then he went and he got it checked out, and he was at stage four uh, wow. esophageal cancer. He had to get had. removed, and then I remember the last time I saw him. God, I'm so sad. Last time I saw him, we. I met with him to talk about his podcast that he was going to make because he was starting chemo treatment. And he was like, you guys have a, he was like, you have a podcast. I just want to know like what tips or like what mics and stuff I should get. I gave him that recommendation and then he, uh, he started and then he passed away within oh, no. two months. Wow. Oh, two months. Crazy. So and I was fast. just looking at pictures of us on New Year's and I was like, it's wild how when you're with someone and their team seems totally fine. And it's also sucks because like, I'm a type of person where like, oh, everything's okay. Even the time where we found out that he had the cancer and it wasn't looking good. I was still like, but this is gonna be optimistic. You're still being optimistic. Yes. Yeah. Because also you don't, it's someone who also is pretty anxious and they feel like that they're going to die and that you also don't at the same time want to be just like, making it like too forced or intense yeah. for them where it's like, come on, don't you want to look at the sunset a yeah. little yeah. bit longer? Yeah. And, and you don't want to piss them off. Like, now you're just annoying me and reminding yeah. me that I'm going to die. You almost just act All like they, nothing's wrong. Yeah, but then yeah. you want to be optimistic, but then you don't want to be too optimistic. And you don't want to give point. them like a, a too long of a hug because you like feel like it might yeah. be like, you're like I, I think about but stuff then, like But then it sucks when it happens two in fucking two months. That's so but, sad. But I mean, I, hadn't, I did not know him as long as Patricia had known him like her entire life. Like it yeah. was really like wild on <clears> her end. <throat> But just for me, I was just like still so optimistic. And then what was wild, sorry, this is taking a little side of a turn. And then I was, and then it's crazy. So he, when he died, I don't wanna, I'm gonna say privacy of their names. Then, so he died. Then I go to Dallas and I run into this other guy. He comes up to me and he goes, hey, aren't you friends with um, Lauren uh, so-and-so? And I was like, yeah, I know Lauren so-and-so, a good friend of mine from college at yeah. UT. And I go, I haven't talked to her in years. How is he? She goes, he goes, I'm dating her. She lives in Austin, but we're together. And I go, get out of here. No way. And he goes, hold on, let me FaceTime her. And we FaceTime her and all this shit. I'm like, oh my God. And I like, I take a picture of us together. I sent it to her. I was like, dude, so nice to meet your boyfriend. My friend was like, dude, you know that guy who just came up to you and talked to you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's dying. He has cancer. I'm like, and I oh remember he was kind of nearby and I was like, don't, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, but I'm just talking to someone. Let's not talk about that. Whatever. Then sure enough, that, that guy died two months after I saw him. And I was oh, like, that's damn. Crazy. I had like, it was just two people that were like close eyed interactions with and stuff. So and do, then, you, do you like, just not like really like notice or um, obviously like he, you don't really notice it until like, like it gets bad, right? That's, that's, yeah. And you just have that much time left. <clears throat> yeah. It's like yeah. way too late at that point. 
Most of the time people don't catch it until it's like too late. It's tough. It's really tough. And like sometimes, but you know, I, for the interactions I have with them, it's just how it happened. Like I didn't, if they were long time relationships, I think I would view it differently. It was just spooky. Yeah. Where you just have interact and you don't know it really when it will be your last. Not to say where it needs to be paranoid to the point where you're so scared of getting diagnosed, you're most likely fine. Yeah, it's just uh, makes you count your blessings for sure. Makes me want to go to a doctor's office right now. Yeah, I want to get. I want to do um, one of those uh, <clears throat> like full scans. Yeah, you can't, and you um, can do that. Yeah, people my, do it. Like, I feel like people do it like every year for being a firefighter. They literally like check for absolutely everything. Oh yeah, it's like a life scan. Smart. Um, I, I want to. You got to make your make sure you're in mint condition before saving somebody else's life, huh? Mm-hmm. Sorry, was that dark? Was that no, no. Dark? I mean, just a lot of sad stuff. From life outside. can be dark sometimes. Yeah, it really can be. That teacher that got shot by the six year old student. I just found out about this too. I, if you have no idea, there was a six year old student who shot his teacher. She survived. She's alive. She's did lawyering you know up. I did she not. Did not hear about this. The six-year-old brought a gun to school. Oh, wait, a six-year-old? Six-year-old six. brought a gun to school. She heard a rumor that he had the gun. So I just told Heath that today. I said, sorry to interrupt you. No, no. It's um, I just heard today. So the teacher got a lawyer. She got shot. She survived. She got lawyers. Oh, okay. She, <clears throat> everybody's informed now that the school was warned four times throughout the day that this kid had a weapon. There was rumors going around the school that he had a weapon. He brought the, the gun to recess put it in his pocket, was showing kids and saying, if you say anything, I'll shoot you. So the kids were going to the teachers and and the staff was like, the, the principal, whoever was like, his pockets look too small for a gun. There's no way. Yeah. And so then stupid. and then the, the teacher said, oh, students are going around. There's a rumor that he has a weapon. Can you, can these print the principal search him? The day's almost over. Let's just let's just finish out the There's, day. They That's looked in insane. his back. They, then they looked in his backpack, they and it was in, backpack. and it was in there. You go, oh, he doesn't have it. And they're like, oh, well, it could be on him. And they were like, yeah, the pockets and stuff. And, and then in the middle of class, he shot her. Lawyer up. That's it. Charge the parents. Charge the school. The fact that they got after, warned that many times and still yeah. Even mm-hmm. after everything that's that's happened, right. You're not gonna take that a little bit more seriously. That's fucking like, nuts. Like obviously, and six years old sounds. Unimaginable. It does not sound I, real. I can't like even. Picture but that. you <laughs> never know. Still, if so, if an adult is warning another adult, hey, I'm hearing kids talk about a weapon that they saw at recess. Check. What's so what? Yeah. And it's not like you're going up to like a grown adult being like, let me search you. Like, yeah, it's, it's a sick. Literally, pick pick the, him pick up. the kid up. Yeah, yeah. and just. <laughs> but then, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And by no means am I. Justifying they it, but also I think <laughs> no, but I also think kids they think oh well it's probably either a toy gun or you wouldn't think a six year old would bring a, a a gun to school versus like a sixteen year old bringing a gun to school yeah like it's like well that it, it, it that's what's like so scary is like it actually like did happen and it was real and it. <laughs> But imagine, imagine Zane being a teacher. They're like, Zane, I think one of your students has a gun. He's like, I'm not going to check. Like, <laughs> like, he's got, if he's got a gun, oh, why do oh, I got to be the no. one to check? You know? <laughs> where was this? Yeah, where was this? Um, wait, we want to say Virginia. Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Oh, she looks so West funny. Virginia. Oh. If you have kids. Show the kids. Lock your guns <laughs> up. There's get no way. Safe. Like, yeah. I don't understand how kids can get a hold of their parents' guns. Six that doesn't old. make sense to me. Also, on top of it, your kid knows how to use a gun. Your six-year-old knows how to use a gun. I'd be. Dang. She's young though, and the rest of her life is set. <laughs> She's good. Wait, really? Think about. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. You She's settled. Su- sued the oh, family, oh, sued be- the school. The school. Yeah, because the school didn't check. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, she warned them. If she's the teacher, why didn't she check? Because there's probably rules where like you can't like if somebody needs to get searched. Like think about in school, like my teachers never did it. If somebody was suspicious, they would have the security. Security, yeah. If they the think cop. about it. Remember security would it come to the to classroom in the middle of class and check that, your bag? Because then she could have gotten in trouble. I remember that for high school. Anything. They're, these are children. You got to think it's even worse. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little more strict for kids. These are. He's six years old. Like, come here, bud. Can't. Come here. You, could you empty your pockets for me real quick? You, like, no. But, but I, that, I, think I think that teacher can get in trouble for that. I think back then it was okay, but I think she probably thought like, I don't want to get in trouble, so let me ask a higher up, you know? God, that for, that and then she has so other crazy. students to look after. So it's not like, think about her searching him in the middle of a classroom and then she finds it. Then she's got to call somebody. She has a swept, like <laughs> just, she asked for backup. It's a lot. Yeah. Give her the backup. You know, she saw uh, that when she saw that gun, she would, 
And anything to not traumatize the kids. If she searched for it and the, all the kids saw that she pulled out a gun. It's crazy that that's what the buildup, it all led to it. She had this suspicion. She knew about it. It happened. And then it went down and she's the one who ends up being shot. Yeah. Isn't right. that crazy? It's crazy. Like, it's just how it all goes down. Like, do you have the gun? Is that it under the table? Give it to me right Wait, now. Wait, was like, she what? Do you think was she the like the target the whole time, or did she just? I think I, I think so. I'm sure she probably gave him homework, and he's upset, and he, you know yeah. what I mean. You don't know his home life. You don't know where yeah. he comes from. So it's wow. Like, but at the same time, you don't know her home life. What if her parents are sick and she needs money and she can't make enough money because she's a teacher? So. She lawyered up. She's going to win the fight. She's going to have all this money to take care of her pet. She know? somehow doesn't win. You don't know. <laughs> like it could, everything happens for a reason. You don't know yeah. like her Well, hopefully path. there's insurance money or like that the school doesn't uh, go broke or. No. Yeah. Let the school go broke. Honestly, if their staff, if they get a, <laughs> if they get a suspicion like that and staff doesn't do anything, that's pretty bad. You might yeah. have to replace everybody. The fact that they kept coming up with excuses, like his pockets look too, they looked at him and said his pockets are too small for a gun. Oh Yeah. Frig. It was probably it was uh, uh, like it was probably you know those like little like guns. It's probably like a little twenty two. Like they're really they're pretty tiny. Yeah, you could buy a twenty two this this big. Yeah. She was probably like pop quiz. <laughs> Stop. Pop, pop this. Stop. Mariah, damn, that was so good, but way too soon. <laughs> I mean, she's good. She's good. Pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> it is six. Fuck. Oh yeah, we got it. We got to end this. Damn, that was so good. We have to keep that in. Sorry. We have to keep that in. I was way too good to, to take out. I get canceled for it when I'm trying to spread awareness. <laughs> but they only pinpoint that part. Ooh, all right. Well, we're going to close this bitch out. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Unfiltered with the whole cast, including mm -hmm. Jordan, who we appreciate so much. A little Pierce Devil. Um, <laughs> you could... You can check us out, Audioform, every Monday on Google, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and um, check us on YouTube. We post every Tuesday at youtube.com slash Zane and ETH. <laughs> Zane and ETH. <Eith. laughs> um, we have a Patreon page, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we post bonus episodes. We post live Q and A's, which we got to do this month. We're going to do a live mm -hmm. Q and A this month. We um, post unwind videos, so we keep the camera rolling for like 30 minutes, whatever, right after we're done and we just record. You just get to see like going. an extended cut of the podcast. I kind of um, had a stroke in that period. Yeah, I, I, I was going to chime in. To Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Um, we also post uh, early access to all these episodes. You get them a few days early and you're going to get them ad free. And as soon as you become a Patreon member, you're going to get access to everything we've ever posted. So you're going to get all of the bonus episodes we've done. We actually just have a, uh, a brand new high episode on our Patreon with... Uh, actually, Jordan and Todd. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a boys episode. And if you want to check that out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Also try the best coffee in the world, Cremota. Uh, Cremota.com. And try a bunch of flavors. We got espresso, whole bean. We've got hot chocolate now. Um, and we actually have a couple new things coming out really mm -hmm. soon. That we're and it's really, really good. About. It's going to be one of your guys' favorite too. So mm -hmm. we're really excited about that. All right, guys. We love you. And Unwinders, we'll see you in a second. Peace and blessings. Mother. Bye.